To import a road vehicle into Australia, you need to apply and be granted approval. There are two main ways to import vehicles, through a single road vehicle application or vehicle type approval. And the one you'll need to apply for depends on how many vehicles you plan to bring into the country. A single road vehicle application is required if you are importing individual vehicles or certain types of vehicles. For example, you'll need this approval if you're a car enthusiast looking to import a specialist vehicle or an older vehicle. You want to bring your vehicle with you when you move to Australia. You manufacture or import special purpose vehicles or a small number of trailers each year. You'll also need to apply for an approval even if you don't intend to use the vehicle on public roads. For example, exhibition, race or test vehicles. And finally, you need to submit a single road vehicle application to re-import a vehicle that has previously been approved for use in Australia. A vehicle type approval is required for importing commercial quantities of a particular type of new vehicle. Taking the right steps to import your vehicle will help avoid incurring unnecessary costs down the track. For example, if you don't follow the correct process, you may find your vehicles held by customs or unable to be registered by your state or territory jurisdiction. We recommend you follow these eight steps to help make the application process easier. Step one. Do your research. Find out which approval type you'll need, whether your vehicle can be registered and how to prepare. Step two, apply for an approval in Rover, the department's online applications and approvals portal. Step three, receive approval from us to import your vehicle. You will be sent a notification once your application has been approved. Step four, arrange vehicle shipping. Before you arrange shipping, there might be other things you need to organise for your vehicle, such as steam cleaning and asbestos testing. Step five, seek customs clearance. For example, you'll need to lodge an import declaration and pay customs duty, GST and luxury car tax if applicable. Step six, meet Australian quarantine requirements. You'll need to lodge a quarantine entry and arrange an inspection appointment. You may wish to seek advice from a customs broker or freight forwarder on these and other border requirements or arrange for them to coordinate the process. The Australian Border Force website also has comprehensive advice on its Importing a Motor Vehicle page. Step 7. Meet any conditions of your approval. This might require having your vehicle modified to meet road vehicle standards if needed or conducting testing and developing evidence of compliance. Step 8. Register your vehicle if you want to use it on a public road. Once your vehicle is in Australia, you can apply to register it in your state or territory. Not all vehicles that get an approval can be registered in all states. If you're not sure, check with your local registration authority. Applying to import your vehicle is easy in our Rover portal. Select the single road vehicle approvals or vehicle type approvals icons to start an application. Complete and submit the online form in Rover, which leads you through the steps to apply. You must submit all the required information so that your application can be assessed. Once your vehicle has been granted an import approval and any required conditions have been met, the relevant vehicle details and compliance information may be entered on the Register of Approved Vehicles, or the RAV, a publicly searchable online database of approved vehicles. Head to Rover to apply for an approval today or go to our website to read more about the eight steps to import a vehicle. Road Vehicle Standards – Keeping Australians safe on our roads.